Hi, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a global decorator for a storybook. What we're going to do next is to open the preview.js file inside the .story folder. There, I'm going to create a set of inline styles that I'm going to use for my global decorator. So in this case, my styles are going to be related to flex because that's the way that I want to treat my different stories. I want to look then as columns and I want to define some styles that will help me to make look better every story. In this case, the hostify content is going to be flex star. It means everything is going left to and the same as the align content. That is to declare how it's going to be the vertical alignment of Flexbox container. In that case, it's going to be top to bottom. Then I want flex wrap to behave with wrap. It means that if my different children of the Flexbox container doesn't fit, it's going to wrap to the next column. And the high is going to be 100%. And then the most important thing here is the gap. It's going to be 10 pixels in the top and the bottom and 30 pixels to the sides. So with that, we can create our decorator. And in order to create a decorator, we just need to export the constant decorators in a storybook. And this is going to be an array where it takes a function that is going to have as a first argument the story component. So in my case, I want that every story here is going to be wrapped by my div that is going to hold the styles that I just defined. With that, we just have our first decorator. Let's take a look how it looks in a storybook. So if I go to a storybook and I go into the docs, notice that now my colors and sizes stories have this gap. This is because the global decorator. In fact, if you want something, let's say a background, and in this case, we are going to define just for fun, tomato as a color, you will have this background in every story. We don't really notice the difference here, but if we just implement a padding, let's say it's going to be 20 PX, you can see how the background is applied. This can be useful even if you need for some reason represent your stories with a predefined background. In our case, we are going to remove that. And now we can just use the template list to define multiple stories and they are going to look good. In our next lesson, we are going to learn how to support CSS modules in a storybook. See you in the next one.